Hey, what do it, y'all? Switch that team, put y'all tuned to all y'all favorite rappers and celebrities alike. But first, I need a little favor done for y'all. First, please like, comment, subscribe to this video, hit that notification bell. It's will there be great service to the channel. Put y'all tuned to this story. Now, today we're talking about the late and great Juice World. This man has sadly lost his life towards the end of 2019, late 2019. So, Juice World had had a girlfriend prior to his fatal incident. This girlfriend going by the name of Ali Lottie. It has sadly been four years since Juice World has made his departure, and Ali Lotti has been mourning him ever since, of course. Now, Ali Lotti was in Juice World's presence when he unfortunately suffered an overdose from drugs he had taken. Juice World sadly lost his life after he had accidentally killed himself after taking drugs to hide them from the authorities after they had popped up to search the plane for anything illegal. Juice World's legacy has continued to live on, and his label has decided to put out many of his unreleased songs. Juice World's girlfriend, Ali Light, seems to be very closely connected to the rapper. Given the myriad of photos that they have appeared in, and the fact that she has many of his items in her possession following his passing, Ali Lottie in the past few years has failed to make usage of these items and has decided to sell them away to the public. Many of Juice World's fans have taken offense to her decision. However, Ali Lottie will continue selling these items and she will end up being faced with controversy. It's no surprise that the public was heavily opposed against her decision. Many have felt that she was trying to take advantage of his name and legacy and capitalize off of the many items that she had had in her possession. For example, dating back to March of this year, she had had many of his items on sale. These items consisting of a mystery dirty laundry pack, which she had said was one of ten, a preserved juice dread, supreme boxers, Dalmatian Supreme Tea, an SO Yellow Puff Jacket, and even his own bones. This woman was selling this man's teeth, charging $100 just for one regular tooth. Even going on to distinguish between certain types of teeth he had had, saying that his sharp tooth was worth $250 and his molars were worth $1,000. So the items up for sale that stick out the most were the dreads and the teeth. So I bring this up because Juice World's girlfriend before his passing has decided to put up his own music for sale. This woman had taken to her OnlyFans and is charging $15 to gain access to all of his unreleased songs. Or at least the many unreleased songs she is saying she has in her possession. So this woman had put up a statement saying leaking all the music. Someone hacked Jay and I's phone and is extorting me to pay him or he will leak all his unreleased songs. To be honest, I don't care at all and I'm tired of being put through hell over them. I'll leak them myself. I've been bothered and my iCloud hacked so many times and I am tired of it. I hope this is what you all wanted, all the unreleased albums. So once again, this woman has been taking heat for her decision making when it comes to the morning of Juice World. It's quite clear that this woman is not willing to salvage this man's belongings and is willing to sell them away. A lot of time has passed to this point and it seems as if this woman cannot find usage for his items. The public and fans alike have put out many comments about her, mainly consisting of negativity. Some have said that they feel she should be sued for giving away this man's personal belongings. Other given opinions state that they feel that she is tarnishing Juice World's legacy. So based off of the reception and responses to her actions, many show disapproval and are not supporting her actions. With this woman charging $15 to gain access to this man's music, many could perceive it as her trying to capitalize and gain an advantage off of having this man's music in her possession. With her excuse being that somebody had hacked their phone and is threatening to release all this man's music if she doesn't pay him. This is the justification that she had given for having put this man's music on sale on OnlyFans. Now mind you, when it comes to the previous post that we had discussed about her selling away all of Juice World's personal belongings, this woman had also given an excuse for selling away this man's personal belongings, saying that she needed bail for her boyfriend by Monday. So given that this woman has put out different excuses when it comes to her selling this man's personal belongings, it seems as if the intent is to avoid negative reception when it comes to the public. We can make the assumption that this woman is struggling both financially and mentally in her life. Thus, her lack of mental fortitude and financial stability could be the reasoning as to why she is committing these actions. Yeah, I'll just go cap all this video. Let me know what y'all in the comments. What do you guys think of Ali Lai's decision to sell away all this man's unreleased music? Are you guys taking this woman's excuses for selling away this man's personal belongings as legitimate or fraudulent with her saying that she needed bail for her boyfriend and that she was being extorted by a man that had hacked her phone? And to cap that off, are you guys anticipating the release of Juice World's final album known as The Party Never Ends? And if so, will you guys be listening to it upon release? Let all that be known in the comments, y'all. That's gonna do it. I'm out. Rage on that beat, going crazy.